The first week of 2018 turned out to be rather monumental. After 39 years of autocratic and theocratic rule by radical Muslims, the people of Iran are rising up to demand accountability and freedom. It's not clear whether the brutal terroristic regime of the Ayatollahs will be overthrown, but unlike during the uprising of the Green Movement in 2009, when President Obama failed to give any encouragement to the freedom fighters, President Trump has been outspoken in support for those who want their failing economy to provide jobs instead of underwriting terror throughout the world. This is good news for all of us, because the radical thugs who rule Iran pose a true existential threat to the entire planet. So let us pray for the courage and the resolve of those brave Persian people who want to live without an iron-fisted government clobbering them for a simple desire to be free. <laughs> and it was also a week we saw the stock market hit 25,000 for the first time ever. Sounds like we got a lot of investors out here. Now, that may not seem to matter to you, but let me explain that it does. Because it means that if you are retired, or ever hope to be, the value of your 401k or your pension is way up from just a year ago. And if you need a better paycheck, more job options, or just lower prices on what you buy, there is a great likelihood that it's going to happen because as stocks in a company increase, so does their capacity to raise wages for employees, invest in new product lines and inventory, thus creating jobs, maybe even a job for your own family version of Cousin Eddie, who hasn't been employed in a long time. <laughs> now, in a few weeks, you're going to start to see a bump in your budget as a result of the tax cut signed by the president just before Christmas. Some Washington politicians try to tell you that only rich people would benefit. But when you see more money in your pocket, then I guess some of those politicians thought you were too rich and that they should have kept more of your money. I sure hope you'll remember them when you vote in November because they don't just like taking your money. They want to spend it for you. And they think you're not smart enough to know how. And you know something? If you keep electing those kind of politicians, they may just be right. Now, this was also a week in which one of the president's former advisors who was fired last year was the key figure in a largely discredited book about President Trump and his staff. The president even sent a cease and desist letter to try and stop the book. I think that was a big mistake. Best way to refute the message of that book is to let it get out there so people can see how absurd it truly is. Let me give an example. In one of the more ridiculous allegations, the author, who is widely known as loose with facts and kind of tight on leftist lunacy, he alleged that Donald Trump didn't want to win the election and that he was shocked when he did. I'm going to give you a little insight here. I was on the campaign trail with candidate Trump on several occasions, and he sure was lousy at trying to lose. Rarely. Rarely has any candidate worked so hard campaigning seven days a week with a grueling schedule of many events a day and scheduling time in places like Wisconsin and Michigan and Ohio and Pennsylvania where most pundits thought he didn't have a chance to win. So if he wanted to lose, he should have just skipped those states like Hillary did. And for those who, to this day, say President Trump is deranged and unfit, how painful must it be for some of the Democrats to think that their candidate lost to someone that they pretend is a lunatic who didn't even want the job? Think about that. Oh, and North Korea says they might want to participate in the Olympics. But then again, everyone in North Korea who can run fast or who can jump has already run past the checkpoints and jumped the borders to get out of that starving mess. So, 
unless there's a competition for eating grass, tree bark, and wildflowers, it's doubtful that little Kim's empire will get the gold. Now, as for what to expect this year, all right, the lunatic left will continue their unhinged and maniacal attacks on a president that they think is unhinged and maniacal. But my big prediction for 2018 is that this show will become your favorite and your have-to-see TV of the year. That's what I'm thinking.